With me here in the studio is Dr. Christian Morrow, he looks very familiar, and research student Charlotte Phelps, <laughs> welcome, yeah. who are here to tell us a little bit more about what students do in the classrooms and it has nothing to do with textbooks. The health simulation experience looks so cool, but I also heard that you've actually got other technologies you can use as well. So, Candice, the days of simply orating to a large group of students are gone. Yeah. We now wish to sort of provide a much better, more interactive, engaging experience, have students learn at their own pace while we're there to guide and support them. And it's a really changing world in tertiary education, but technology such as using augmented reality, holograms, virtual reality has been fantastic. Computer-based learning, tablets, smartphone-based learning has all been really interesting, but, but allows us to guide students to learn in their own pace. And who would create these applications? They sound so complicated. Everything you said was complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, we create them all in-house. Uh, it's one of the things that we have great resources anyway, the plastic models and, and specimens to use in the anatomy lab, for example. But being able to create a, a brain or a heart in virtual reality empowers us to really add disease or characteristics that we'd like the students to learn from. So it's been quite empowering as an educator to have the ability to do that. So, so augmented reality, virtual reality, what's the difference? Augment I've got an example here of augmented reality. We'll turn to this camera here if we can, and I'll show you an example here mm -hmm. is, if we can get up. So for example, here's the brain, as you can see there. I can move it around. It's just simply a marker, which I'm holding, that becomes a brain or a heart or anything we like. Ooh. So augmented reality allows us to do that augment reality, whereas virtual reality is a complete sensory deprivation. We put the eyes, the ears, the hands, everything in a complete virtual environment using a head-mounted display, which means it's just, even in a busy room, it's just you and that model. And mm. so you spend about six minutes, maybe at most, in that environment learning about the heart or different things. So <laughs> It's, it's been interesting. It's a lot better than testing on real humans. I would not sign up for that. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, uh, that's fantastic that you have this technology available. And Charlotte, I believe you're holding um, a very interesting contraption. Would you be able to talk us through this? So what's in Charlotte's hand now is the next levels. This is the difference between virtual reality sensory deprivation and augmented reality where you augment. This is a mix of both. This is called the HoloLens. It's one of the newer ones. We call this mixed reality. And it allows us to actually be in a class, seeing the lecturer, giving the details and giving the content, while also having a beating heart in front of you or a big pair of lungs. So <laughs> it's very, very exciting. It's the newest in tech, but we find it's really useful for getting our message across, which is that learning about the human body. The human body is in 3D, and so learning from a 2D textbook isn't as useful, but here we can show organs and parts of the body like never before. How inspiring. That's so cool. Yeah, I think I definitely was like, oh, there's too many textbooks to do that degree. <laughs> but now that it's a completely different scenario, I'm keen to wear those and learn everything. <laughs> did you get to use this? You've studied at Bond. What Absolutely, did you study? I did. So I studied biomedical science and then now I'm back doing a uh, year of honours um, by research. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's amazing. And I did. I had the opportunity to use all of these incredible um, technological devices. Um, this one here is really amazing. I'm using this this year actually um, and doing a bit of research with it. So we've made a really cool app of the lungs, which then you can see in 3D in front of you. And it's just amazing the variability of it. So you can see all different types of diseases and disorders and where they would be in the body, the different structures. Um, and just having it in 3D and just so accessible as well is amazing. Okay, last question, where to from here once you've finished? <laughs> so continuing on researching, absolutely. Um, PhD is the goal and then finishing from there and just continue research and finding um, new ways to improve health sciences and what we know in medicine. It's so exciting. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you both. It's so fantastic, so imperative, especially in a time like we're living in now. So thank you.